I want to talk about college and when people move on. In the Philippines, people tend to keep that strong bond. Um, I know from my wife's um, college group, some of the guys have had medical issues, some have had deaths, etc. But one thing that's always pushed through is the assistance from other members in the group. Um, I remember one of our friends had a, had a lump on her throat, quite a large lump. Um, I think it's malnutrition related, but it was the college guys that got together and basically funded to have that removed and it's pretty common for the guys to look after each other. So although people assume that the family connection is basically just looking after your family, a lot of the time it's further extended to college, etc. On top of that, you will, if you're doing well financially, get more harassment than anybody else for helping sponsoring new students, etc. Because there's a big push on reinvesting in the uh, next um, people in the education system. I think they call it uh, alumni or whatever. I, I'm not, you know, this Omega, Beta type thing that they have in the US. I, it's not something I'm familiar too much in the UK. We have like went to Oxford, went to Cambridge, that sort of thing. It's the same sort of grouping that can help you career-wise, but I do think this one's a lot stronger. The connections are a lot stronger because a lot of people have come up from the same financial difficulty. 